Ooh, oh, hello, beautiful. It is the day of the rainbow. I'm ready for all the colors in the world to be on one head. I want it all. More is more today. When we watch these people color their hair with every single color they can possibly find, hell yeah. Up first, we have a video by Evelina Forcell. This is gonna take all of the hair knowledge that I have in me, all of the patience, and it's gonna take so, so long. I am going to try out for some hair. Okay. Prism Hair and I have a love-hate relationship. It is one of the hardest things to do just because it's so tedious and it takes so much time and patience, but the end result is unlike anything else. It is so magical. It just looks ethereal and complicated. Like it just looks rich. It is the richest form of rainbow hair color in my opinion. It is so artistic and when it's done well, whoo, you can tell. I even saw Brian Mondo try this and started to say Brad, but that didn't even turn out that good. <laughs> Whoa, I just turned this video on and I already got roasted. I remember doing it, but I don't remember how it came out. I can probably guess that it did not come out very good. When colors take that long to do, they're just not for me. I just am not the hairstylist for you if you want prism color. I'm not gonna sit there for 10 hours and, and do it. So I really do not know how this is gonna end up. Let's also talk about how pretty her hair is. It is absolutely stunning and gorgeous and it is so blonde and it is so thick and it is so not dead and f up. She colors her hair all the damn time. I do not know how she keeps it healthy. It's quite impressive. So go you. I think I'm gonna go for like a very light pastel prism hollow type of hair. And also I need one shade that we're gonna go for the whole like bottom of the head. Picking the colors for a hollow hair color is so difficult. If you put any colors that don't mix well beside each other, obviously they're gonna look like poop. But besides that, besides the obvious, it's just hard to find colors that like look prismatic. They kind of have to be like pastel rainbow, but like not too rainbow because then it just looks like rainbow hair color. You know, it kind of has to be like brighter than a rainbow. It's difficult. So as I want like a pastel yellow, I found the um, Lime Crime Unicorn Hair in Tweet and the Artifox Neon Moon. Here you guys can see Neon Moon. Ah, oh, this is gonna be hard. Oh, please go with the really neon yellow. Like that is what a prism color needs is those neon bright colors that are sort of pastel, which also seems like um, that doesn't make any sense. But in my my head it does then we're gonna go for green and i have the arctic fox iris green and the arctic fox neverland i mean this is very very pastel -y. maybe i could go in with a this one the most and then just like a tiny bit of the iris green to darken this up let me just go ahead and take some of iris green and just mix that into neverland here that looked better right anything but the yellow i think it needs to be pastel everything's gonna blend a lot easier that way and it's just the whole vibe of prism is gonna come across better. At least that's what I'm imagining. Okay, so we're going through the rest of them and picking colors. I think her choices are great. They all look amazing and she's really putting a lot of work into customizing this palette for her hair. I wouldn't have the patience. I'm going to dye my under hair grayish shade and I wonder if I should go in with a little bit of gargoyle and then I was thinking if we would go in with a little bit of aubergine dream and then if we would add some diluter like a light gray but more of a light light purple okay that one's a little scary for me so she said she's going to be coloring the underneath of her hair grayish so everything below i think she's just coloring this part with that prism moment i almost wish she just left it blonde underneath so it kind of like shine through the prism effect rather than kind of muting out the underneath of her hair to make it kind of a more of a background which is also fine we'll see so here we have one last look of the colors I I love it. The neon yellow, I just think is gonna put such a good pop into these more muted tones. I guess they're not really muted. They're not like super deep pigmented rich tones. And I just love that. I think it's going to look incredible with all these colors together, but she does have a lot of purples and a lot of berries and reds going on, uh, which is kind of interesting. Like I feel like we need a more of a different color palette. I don't know. The yellow that we're gonna go for, the green, the blue, the pink, purple, and the orange. She did an incredible job with that. Yeah, yeah. Look, those colors are 
fire together. How the f did she remember every single shade that she put on that piece of paper? This is why these things are just not made for me. And I think we understand that now. I think I've said that enough already today. And it's only been like a few minutes of the video. I am very rarely scared of dyeing my hair, but this, I really do not know how this is gonna work out. Okay, now for the really, really hard part. The color, hard. But the actual painting of the hair, so f hard and also even harder on your own hair like good luck with this the fact that she has to over direct the hair paint all these little lines in her hair make sure she's doing the right colors in the right spots make sure nothing bleeds nothing touches her other hair that she's leaving out is going to be one of the hardest tasks to ever be seen on this channel so oh, let's see i'm just gonna put it all over my hair here oh no oh no Okay, we are going for it. It already just looks like absolute hell. Not like bad hell, but just looks like this is such a struggle. You have to take paper thin sections to ensure everything is properly saturated. So you do not get any like missing spots of just like blondness. It is such a drag. <laughs> I feel like I'm just venting about how much I hate this process, but I just want you to know it's really, really fun. Hard. We're gonna do like this right here as well. Now we kinda need something to paint on top of. Okay, <laughs> I won't be able to see like this. What if I cut this off? I can't see. Are those paper towels? <laughs> We are not gonna try and do this with paper towels, please no. Where are the foils? Where's the plastic? <laughs> okay, this is probably the weirdest thing I've ever done. Okay, thankfully she's got the plastic. Way better idea. I don't know where we're going with that paper towel thing. It looks crazy. I'm just gonna go ahead and put some pink on this side as well, just so I make sure that it gets coated on the bottom as well. I think that after this first layer, it's going to be kind of easier. I can't even really see what I'm doing, but I, I kind of feel good about this. This is gonna take a really long time though. But now uh, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, do the exact same thing. Evelina, you're gonna be doing this for three days straight. This is gonna be insane. Why would you put yourself through this? That's crazy. It actually looks really good on the bottom. I just wonder if I can make this easier somehow. Nope. You really can't make it easier. Get my hair back again. And now we're just gonna make sure that it lays flat on top of this. You can't even see anything. How are you gonna do this without seeing anything? She got her eyes fully blocked and she's trying to make a bunch of lines in her hair in the right order. How the fuck are we accomplishing this? It's easier if you start off with the color at the bottom. I can't even see what I'm doing right now. It's quite uh, a lot of uh, hair here at the bottom. And I don't want to go in with the purple for like two centimeters here. I'm just gonna go one centimeter just like before. But now we're gonna take the uh, bottom color, the one after purple. The root color will be blue. The only thing I'm worried about right now is that she's not really like combing the sections before she paints them and they're not like perfectly laid flat. It could be fine, but to make this absolutely perfect stunning, I would recommend combing it. You could also like hairspray it probably to make it stay in place while you paint. I mean, mine didn't come out that great either, so I shouldn't give me advice, but I'm gonna do that anyways. The biggest thing is to make sure you're saturating fully, right? Cause if we don't, it's not gonna look good. She's still somehow, some way, coloring her hair like this without even being able to see her own hair. I don't know what kind of magic this is, but it's insanely incredible. She's like painting the middle section first, then doing the ends, then doing the roots, and I don't know why or how, but it's it's wild. I don't even know how long I've been sitting here now, but it's been a few hours. It's been hours, she said. Hours, nothing, no, no color is worth taking this long to do. We'll see, actually, it might be. I only have this part left now. It's really hard to see what you're doing because I'm literally on the back of my head. She's like, it's really hard to see. No sh your fucking eyes are blocked.
We're almost there, guys. We're almost finished. We almost get to see the result, and it better be magical. I obviously want this color too. I'm not gonna be doing anything special. Just gonna put it on like this. This is how the um, bottom of the hair is looking. Okay, we did the gray underneath. Again, I'm not like the biggest fan of that, but it's not my hair. I'm gonna try and have it on for two hours more because I've heard that um, colors do not bleed together if you let it completely dry out and then you should wash it with really, really, really ice cold water. See you guys when I wash this out. It's reveal time. Fingers crossed this looks good, or else it'll be a huge waste of time. Three, two, one. It truly looks holographic. I haven't seen the back actually, so you let me know if it looks good. Yes, queen. Yes, queen. It looks good. Yes, yes. And it looks so good with the uh, color underneath. And I really thought it was gonna look kind of weird up here, but it actually doesn't. Like, I kind of like it. I'm so happy with this. Was it worth it? Yes, it was. <laughs> Lucky enough, like, I am so proud of myself. Like, just look at this. Oh my god, it is so prismatic. She nailed that. How did you do that yourself? What? That's magic. That's insane. It actually looks prismatic. The way it moves and changes as she moves her head and as she moves her hair around makes everything even cooler. I know for a back you're not gonna do that again but wow that looks so so good like incredible job that was so entertaining up next a video by goddess misfit my favorite hair color company sent me some colors to play with i'm going to use their neon yellow blue and pink to create the most beautiful neon rainbow palette here's all of our colors i kind of messed up the blue so i had to redo it i used turquoise and some of their neon blue and i did dilute it with some white conditioner those colors are magical and she said that they glow the only thing better than rainbow hair is glowing rainbow hair. Ah, love it. An hour or two later, I'm finally sectioned. The sectioning is the same one that AKA Aislinn used. Look how many sections. I love this sectioning though, and AKA Aislinn always does the damn thing. In rainbow hair, we trust AKA Aislinn. Like this is so good. She's gonna have so many strips of different colors in her hair. I think it's gonna be fire. She took each section and instead of dyeing it one solid color, it's an ombre to the next color. So this one's gonna be pink to orange and then this one's gonna be orange to yellow, yellow to green and so on and so forth. Okay, whoa, that's next level. I did not think we were gonna do that. She's doing an ombre on each single strand. This is a lot of work, you guys. I really just don't know how you do it. I will say though, her hair is quite yellow right now. Uh, it's definitely like a warm blonde. And if we want serious glowing, it'll probably be fine. But if we want it to be really glowy, extremely glowy and extremely accurate in the way that the color deposits onto the hair strand, having like a neutral blonde would be ideal. So like pre-toning it and then going in with the color would be the best thing to do. I'm sure it'll be fine though. I did 12 sections on each side so there's gonna be two rainbows and i'm going to try my best to keep them away from each other we are going in with the color and she's being so precise with it those beautiful crisp lines are so satisfying you gotta really think about the dyes you're using when you do ombres because i recently used lunar tides and they're yellow as you would imagine kind of like bleeds away if you have another color and the other color oversaturates it and it kind of just takes it away it's so risky putting that orange next to that pink because if any of that pink gets on the orange it is going to mix and it is going to create something that is not as orange as she wants it to be it's such an easy mistake to make and it's so easy to pick up the wrong brush and put it on the wrong section of hair. You have to be so precise with this stuff and think so much. Not only does it hurt your arms, but this hurts your head doing these colors. Like it's a lot of thinking. That pink color is insanely beautiful. Pink and orange is one of my favorite color combinations. <laughs> Oh my god, that yellow is so bright. And then she's doing the neon green on the ends, which is just the perfect choice. And she is being so precise with it. How is there not one speck of orange or pink that has hit that yellow section? I want to know how you did that. But oh my god, this is going to take her forever. 
ever. She's only like a quarter of the way done, not even. A fifth of the way done, a sixth. Okay, the first rainbow is done. Now I'm going to do the back. I am going to start at the bottom and work my way to the middle because that's how I sectioned it. And I feel like that would be easiest for me to not go over the colors instead of starting at the top and working my way down. The color scheme is amazing all right time to do the other side again i will do it off camera simply because it takes so long i'm sorry if you wanted to watch the process but i am not going to use up every last megabyte in my phone okay it's been a long time it's now almost 11 o'clock at night i'm going to leave this in for an hour and then to rinse it out with very cold water okay so she did the rest of her hair off camera which i'm kind of mad about because i want to see the whole process like come on do a time lapse next time but it looks like perfection and she did not mess up a single spot how do you guys do it how somebody teach me my ass has been talking to somebody and then picked up a, a pink instead of yellow and just put it around that section and i'm like oops <laughs> That's my bad. <laughs> The yellow is my favorite part. It just looks so unreal. It actually looks like it's not real hair. Like that is so cool. Yo, you killed that. But she's gonna now show us under the black light, which is even more fun. All right, my hair is all done. I love it so much. I haven't seen what it looks like under the black light though. So let's get my first reaction together. Oh my goodness, I love this. I was nervous that the blue wouldn't really show in the black light because blue and purple don't really tend to want to show up, but it looks so good. This is amazing. I feel like a pack of highlighters and I did some neon makeup. As you can see, it's kind of smudging to the top of my eyelids now. I can't get over this. That's so cool. She should only live in black light because that is so cool. I mean, it looks cool in person too, but the black light is just next level. Insane. The fact that your hair glows is the coolest thing ever and I'm beyond jealous. Like. I, oh, that is so awesome. Up next, a video by Jenna Ball Trades. As you can see, I am back to being blonde. Now I have done a lot of layers in my hair, so it will be interesting to see how this turns out. I am using as my base color because I've been wanting to use this for so long. It is Lunar Tides. This is the coral pink. It smells amazing. It's the best smelling hair dye I've ever tried. Then you'd never tried X Mondo. <laughs> we gotta send you some. I'll send you some good smelling hair color from yours truly. So I have my colors basically ready to go. My plan is to kind of do some blending. I have my main pink and I have my main yellow and the, the, the plan was to kind of blend that to make the orange. And it does, but I also have an orange as a backup in case I need that. And then we have our blue, which will blend into the yellow to make the green. But anyways, and then here is the purple. Very interesting. She's not actually like coloring with all of the colors separately. She's depending on the colors melting in with each other to create the colors in between the greens and the uh, orange that is a really cool technique and definitely works obviously that's how color theory works but also I find it interesting that she has this very subtle sort of pastel not quite pastel but less intense colors and then she has this really punchy purple where's that really punchy purple gonna go I'm very interested so the plan is to use the coral the coral on most of it and then I'm gonna do some streaks of the rainbow in between maybe even if I can do like a full panel underneath of the rainbow that would be awesome along with some streaks somewhere in the middle okay so she's doing a whole lot of a whole lot she's having streaks of rainbow underneath her hair on top she's doing some purple she's doing all different things all around how is this all gonna come together is this gonna look right is this gonna look weird i'm a little concerned we have our front piece we have the top this is gonna be our veil piece and then i have the middle we'll see about that as you go and then i have the bottom which i'm actually going to really start on the bottom but after i do this because I'm very anxious to see how this rainbow is gonna turn out. I'm not like living for the sectioning. It just looks a little bit messy, but it is a rainbow. So like, it doesn't need to be perfect. You're not gonna notice if it's perfect or not. It's just like for my eyes, I love a crisp section that is just perfectly 
perfectly parted. It just gets me going. I don't know. Also, she's going in with the rainbow right in the front of her head. She's like, I want impact. I want that uh-uh, that good good. I don't want it to all just be like boom, 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 like layers. I want it to be a little bit of like a cool diagonal effect. So in order to get that, instead of just going like straight, like this, I want to hold it at an angle like this and then do it. And then when it falls, it will be a cool angle like that. I love the creativity and the way she's thinking with the over direction. If you ever want your colors to be like blended or have a more interesting look to them when you're doing a pattern like a rainbow, use over direction. Look where it lands naturally and then just put it in a different direction and then color it there. Once you put it back the way you usually style it, it's gonna have a cool staggering effect to it. This looks so delicious. It looks like a lemon meringue kind of thing. Hold it at an angle and go with yellow. I'm a little worried about using this really bright yellow on her hair because she does have a little bit of like spotting where the root just like was under process or something. I don't know. The roots are a little bit orange and the color is really light bright yellow. So it's probably not gonna cover all those orange pieces, but once everything's rainbow, you might not be able to notice those little tiny mistakes. Make sure to saturate both sides. Never been super fond of the highlighter colors, but you never know. And then blue, and then that will blend into yellow to create the green. I put entirely way too much, look at that. Another hair color job that just requires so much patience. I am gonna put some orange at the end, actual orange. That is so pretty. The color scheme is starting to be a little spooky. I thought we were putting the purple like on a bigger section without the rainbow. It's going in the rainbow section and it is very like purple in that one spot. Maybe I wouldn't have chose that, but like she has her vision and I'm just might not be seeing it yet. But we'll see what happens. All right, so what I did is since generally when you do this type of hair, you start with one color and then you do it from the next. So I started with the yellow, so I did more of the green at the top layer. So we will see how that goes together. This is so pretty and I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and do the top part. I'm really excited to go ahead and get this part on. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on the coral now. Again, really crazy color combination. Doing the coral next to the multicolored crazy rainbowish section is daring and bold and not a lot of people would ever do that. But I'm intrigued and I'm excited to see what happens there. Very interesting. The top piece is done. All right, so what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna go ahead and do another layer, probably about this thick or so, right here, and hopefully I have enough to do it all the way around, and that will be a full layer of rainbow. So let's get that in. Oh, we're going for a full another rainbow in the middle of her head. That's gonna look cool, but good luck coloring that. That's gonna be difficult. This is what? This section looks like right now. It's coming together, I have to say. It's looking very interesting. It's starting to pay off. Next time though, it'll be so much easier if you work from the bottom up. Because now you have to do the underneath of your hair, the all the way to the underneath, while the whole top has to lay in place. How are you gonna do that? I don't know. But if you just start from the bottom and laid everything on top of itself, so much easier. Not as fun that way. You don't get to see the back, you know? And, and people like to see their vision come to life really quickly in the front, and I think that's why they start with the front all the time. But so much easier when you start from the back. Put these sec this whole section up so I can start working on the bottom half, and I'm gonna do this the same technique, the little ombre thing, all the way around and fill this with rainbow. Yes, I'm so excited. I'm gonna do section by section and do as much rainbow as I can. Oh my gosh, she did the entire underneath rainbow too. Woo! I finally got everything in. Are you ready to see it? It's Freaking beautiful. I was actually able, surprisingly, to do all the rest of it in rainbow. So I'm gonna wait about an hour or so. I'm so glad she went full rainbow everywhere. Like, I know she didn't have really a plan in the first place, but this is the ultimate. The more rainbow, the better. The more rainbow, the better. The more rainbow, the better. <laughs> okay. 
The colors turned out so beautiful. I'm so excited. So if you saw a video that I did recently where it was like blue and black um, and I, I did a veil piece and I, I apparently I haven't learned that my hair cannot have a veil piece and I did it again. So the problem is I have layers, lots of layers, and then on top of that I also have a lot of broken pieces in the back. So a veil piece is not really a veil piece on me. It's just broken pieces. That is so true. Like if you're gonna do a veil, your hair really has to be like one length or else it just doesn't look right. Also, her hair looks like a cotton candy wonderland and I'm here for it. From the front, it looks really cool. I wonder what it's gonna look like from the back. All right, here's the back. Reveal. So you can see the top part, you can see where the pink kind of covers it some on the side, but then in the back, there's just not a lot of coverage. It kind of goes down like this. Okay, I actually like the veil. It looks very purposeful. Like I know she wanted to cover the entire rainbow, but it looks like she just colored her roots all that corally color and I love that. I think it works out perfectly and I love the way it transitions from the coral to the yellow. So cool. Overall, I think it's that's beautiful. I love the colors so much. There's some things I would definitely change, but it turned out really well. I doubted you for a second and you really pulled it together and shocked me with how much I actually love the final result and the colors do work out very well together. And the purple actually did become seamless within the array of colors you have going on. Oh my God. That was a lot of colors. A lot of a lot of things. You guys rock it. I don't know if I could quite rock that. Yes, I've actually done it before. Actually, well, while I was saying that, I was like, wait, I've done these colors before. I've had a rainbow head of hair for a long time. But you guys take it to a whole nother level. Great job. That's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching and live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye.